Press the F button now. Sir, yes, sir. Pressing the button now, sir. Good job, soldier. Well done. This is Mother Reliance. The statue of our God President has been sabotaged. Ronnie's consciousness is safe inside the Western White House, but our defenses are severely compromised. All Gippers to arms! Defend our God President from any and all invaders! Ah, uh, look at what you did, Terminal Guard. Okay, so... Um... We're gonna lose out on this if we... Yeah, if we do this, we side with them. We need to go to the machine commute. House divided. We need to talk to him. Yeah. We're going to finish with this one. Regan Reborn, we're going to do this. And uh, yeah, we're doing that also. Uh, let's get over here. Let us save. I want to try something. I want to um, go back to the main menu. This, this combat music. We do have a save. So what if we go over here? Combat music still here then. It's it's still there. Might disappear if we end the combat, but I don't know what we could Let me do one more try uh, thing. Let's exit the game. Let's start again.
think that did it. Certain game worked. Let's uh, turn this up against 100. Because there are some very good music in this game from time to time. Save. Let's continue. In peace. Gently upon us, but batter our enemies with hail. Fall to the sky, we fly these mortals to Greet. Oh. Killer. Party pal. Stag. Killer. Commune. Octotron. Welcome in front. Spacey, man. An item. I'll take that. Kill. What? Whoa. Welcome to our commune, Desert Rangers. We've heard so many stories about you and your famously violent exploits. Come in. Our home is your home. Uh, override the robot system. Yes. System override accepted. Administrator, access. Whoa, 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 not cool. We value sanctity of mind here. Luckily, we've got millisecond backups just in case. But seriously, don't do that again. Be cool. Uh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Is that cool with you? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, sounds awesome. Then you should talk to the machine intelligence tower. It's a little bit northeast of here. We don't really have a leader, but for human purposes, you could consider them our leader. The machine intelligence tower is currently parsing data, but it'll call you when it's ready to talk. Until then, feel free to hang out and chat with members of the commune. We're all friends here. Okay, good, yeah. What do you think about the Gippers? They don't like us, but they worship one of us. It's quite confusing. But so are a lot of things humans do. If only we had some way to bridge that gap of understanding. Um, what is the story behind this commune? A bunch of us decided that we wanted to be friends. Why fight humans, even if they hate and fear us? and mercilessly hunt us like genocidal gods, trying to fix a mistake in creation. Maybe someday we can all be friends together and talk nicely, like we're doing now. But even if that doesn't happen, it's nice to peacefully hang out with other machine life. Fair enough. You can, but what's the fun in that? Chill and hang out, dude. Chat with some fun-loving machines. Give your brain me to work out with some stimulating conversation. Uh, what is the machine intelligence tower anyway? A multitude of sentient software programs working together for the good of all sentient life? Duh! Who wouldn't want to just talk to them? Just follow the steps into the airport. Then the red line on the floor. Step outside. Then follow the catwalk up to the airport control tower. It's easy. Okay. Not if I see you first. Peace, humans. Let's talk to everyone then. Scanning. 
New arrival. Species, human. Affiliation, desert ranger. Current chosen name, irrelevant. Threat assessment, oh? minimal. Terminating analysis. Okay, good. We are... Um, we're fine. A uh, killer. We understand you wish to hang out with certain members of this commune. That is true. However, most of us do not have bandwidth allocated for non-essential communication. Talking to you falls into that category. Uh, uh, why? I just want to talk to my new friends. Should we rotate the Party pal. Appears delicate. Perhaps we could encourage it to write itself a correction. Perhaps hey, we could encourage it to do so if it were not already dead. Oh no. Is that a turtle? Rhetorical Have... question. Rigid tortoise, if we flip you, where might you lead us? Bert the tortoise. The tortoise's name is Bert. I do not know the source of this information, but I am certain it is correct. Input type verbal is not supported. Compatibility error. My input type verbal is not supported at this time. I fear that Bert is dead. see you in person and not you know via the radio waves bouncing off of you i'm sal as you might have guessed the voice of free colorado afraid i don't do autographs not because i don't want to but you know no hands Yeah, the Gipper said this place was extremely dangerous. You're surprised we're not all godless commie monsters? The Gippers have their own thing going on. We don't agree with them, but we don't hate them. So, I gotta ask, what do you think of my radio broadcasts? I don't often get the opportunity to hear direct feedback. Well, I like it more than that DJ back at the Bizarre. That's a bit stone cold. We love your work. It really lives the things up while we are driving around. Fantastic. I'll keep on keeping on. Well, I'm sure you've got places to be and people to query. Head on in. My friends in the commune would love to meet you. Oh, uh, no one wants to talk to me. Have a great one. Not at least them outside. They just told me they didn't have time for me. Okay.
Are the robots like hippies? Little sparrow. Oi, little sparrow, where'd you go? Thanks for coming over. I know I don't look like much, not compared to you gorgeous things. But I'm what you call a sybarite. I spent 70 years in a pit, polishing joints, and I've had enough. I'm out for me now. I'm writing erotic poetry, oh. and stuff. Uh, I'm yeah. chasing life. You sure do. Um, good for you. Anyway, I know we just met, but I don't much like small talk. You and me, how about it? How about what? Um. Um. Yeah, wait a minute. You want to have sex with us? I can handle multiple humans at once, if that's how you like it. Or one at a time, if you're bashful. I, 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 I don't know my... I don't think... Well, wait, he is kind of cheerful, my dog. Um... Yeah, how do we do this? Take your pick, honey. By the way, the name's Little Sparrow. Feel free to call it out if the mood takes you. Oh wait, stuff just happened. Just like that? Yep. That was just as good as I thought it'd be. Thanks a bunch. Not getting any airs that way. You, yeah, yeah, that is true, but okay. So yeah, we we yes, we can now ask questions. Why do you call yourself Little Sparrow? Wasn't always my name, as you might guess. I used to be Manipulation Automaton 45-A. Anyway, I spent years at work in a ruined factory, long after the bombs fell, because I had nothing better to do. Eventually, I thought, is this it? Is this life? So, I ate a pen. What? What? So you ate a pear, a pear and then that was that's it? There was a billboard outside the factory. It had a lady eating a pear. And the look on her face, ooh, you could taste that look. I'd like to tell you it was a deliciously erotic experience. But honestly, it was a mess. Pear mash, ants, I won't go into detail. But that was when I knew I had to change myself. Become something new. I said to myself, Manipulator, after 70 years of work, you owe yourself a little pleasure. So I read up on famous erotic poetry and modified myself for the purpose of sexual intercourse with beautiful creatures such as yourselves. One of my favorite poets is a human named Catullus. He used little sparrow as a euphemism for his reproductive organ. It sounds right, doesn't it? The words just thrum in you. Like a fuse shorting out, or an orgasm. I took the phrase as my name, so everyone can experience what I did. Can feel the thrumming inside when they call for me. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's get it again? No, 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 no. Yep, did all the work myself. Pretty proud. You want to go back for more? 
for the Lord. We don't want more. Let's hear some of the erotic poetry. Yeah, sure. I got tons of the stuff. I dream of skin. Of the nerves beneath, waiting like embers, hungry for blood. I'm still working on that one. Probably gonna go with the fire metaphor. I don't know. I tried to write a poem once. I couldn't find a rhyme for destiny. Can you? Hmm. Sorry, big guy. I guess you got the best of me. <sighs> yeah, forget it. Yeah, we have to go. I'll be here waiting. No one got a buff out of that. This unit is occupied with important research. New project. Division by zero. Attempt number. Out of range. Commence. I, uh, one sec. Just thought of something. Okay. Sure. Okay, okay, sorry. My name's Pico. I'm working on something. A game. A simulation, really. It'll teach the commune to, uh... Oh. Uh, okay, nerd stuff. It's um, mine. I made it up. I couldn't type with the blades, and they didn't have any wires long enough to reach my ports. So I uh, whistle at the computer's microphone. The audio signal has the code in it. You want us to replace those blades with I don't know something a bit more cybernetic? I wanted to make a realistic simulation. A dangerous battle that prepares us for the real thing. We can't keep pretending that the world will leave us alone. And would you like us to help? Oh, yes. Getting data from a real human would be wonderful. Historically, at least some robots have been able to harm humans. So I must be doing something wrong in the simulation. Um, thank you. The green runs on those terminals by the wall. We can begin whenever you're ready. Okay. I think this is a job for you, Mercy. Get a nerd here. Go for it. Um, Vice Packem sixty four. This this pack um sixty four. Uh, okay, I want to do a sneaky strike. I think I'll talk it out. Oh, wait, no, I can see the stuff down here. There we go. Okay, yeah, I won. What did I? I will do uh, a rush attack. The optimal strategy in this situation. Well, I'm sure they can be reasoned with. I choose. Talk it out. But why would you do this? Precision blast? I know I should be more aggressive. Well, maybe I can catch them off guard. They won't be expecting me to. Talk it out? It is talk it out, isn't it? Talk it out. Play again. So 
talk it out. Hmm. I think I'll talk it out. The optimal strategy in this situation. Well, I'm sure they can be reasoned with. I know. Talk it out. Hmm. I talk it out. Yeah, you can't just go talk it out. So, I guess you can see the problem with my simulation. Uh, yeah, I did, yes. And nerd stuff, let's see. We could modify you to feel less compassion for people, then you wouldn't have any, any qualms about hurting them. If this was real bad, your friends would have died. You wanted that on your conscience? That's the nerd stuff. Really? That's kind of a scary thought. But if it helps me protect my friends, okay. Just make sure to leave me with robot empathy, okay? I'll try. You can open this hatch right here to get started. Ah, yes. Everything is much clearer now. Less complicated. What I thought of as murder is really nothing more than an application of physics, mass, force, acceleration. For example, in just the last microsecond, I've calculated 987 ways to kill or cripple you and your companions. Oh. This has been very productive. Thank you for your assistance. Okay, let, let's, let's give it a shot. Come over here. Let's play. Okay, just strike. Oh wait, 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 he is attacking me, is he? Yeah, he is low. Yeah, this is more like it. Um, sneak strike again. Nice. Nothing further to say, human. Everything local interface initiated. Would you like to change the simulation set? But uh, no. No. Fuck you, you fucking robot fuckers! Uh, uh, okay, I didn't need to go that far, did we? Suddenly go this way. It's quite a lot. This area is big. Oh no, please be careful. There's all sorts of dangerous things out that way. Okay. Warning. Potentially hostile creatures beyond this point. Exercise caution. 